to ask a person a question. It could be that you want to know the answer because you don't know it, or because you want to juggle his memory to tell you something that you want him to tell you. So you're juggling his memory. And here the Prophet ﷺ, he wanted to juggle the memories. He's asking the questions. So, طيب. he said to him, كيف قلت? How did you say? And then the man, he had actually as well read, uh, he had made a statement again. He said, Messenger of Allah, if I died for the sake of Allah, uh, what can happen to me? All my sins will be forgiven? Prophet of Allah, he said, yes. If you are patient and you're hoping for the reward and you are marching forward, not going back. Then the Prophet of Allah had another revelation to add something. So the Prophet of Allah asked a question. He asked the question. It's not because he asked the question to know. He wants him to give information. Is that what you said? Yes, but there is something I need to add, which is, except for the debt. For Jibreel alayhi salam told me just now, he told me about that. It shows us that the sunnah is revelation, but it's not as the Quran. Quran revelation is to be recited. Also, that the debt is something you should not be taking it lightly. No. You should not be, in, you know, letting your hand loose to go and borrow from here and borrow from here. I got my car, but I need to make my car, uh, you know, a uh, four-wheel drive or a very fancy sporty car. So you could borrow money to sell your car and on top of that you put the debt in order to get that fancy car and then later on you can't, you know, pay your debt. You are in trouble. So the debt should not be the debt for enhancing your situation. The debt is for necessity. You need the debt, take it. Loans. Don't take the loans like this on the day of resurrection. You will have no currency to pay back to that person except by hasanat. And if you don't have hasanat, then it will be sins dropped upon you until you be dropped in the hellfire.